we've noticed a trend on YouTube. You might be watching videos where people are giving you bad advice, terrible advice. We'll get in trouble. It is you illegal, 100% illegal. Really ruin your store. Fine. You do you, but you can't sell it. Yeah. <laughs> Legally. Yeah. We had to say something about it. And you can go to jail. What is going on, guys? Johnny here. It is rainy in North Carolina. Frizz is waiting in line at the bins. I am going to join her. It is a Tuesday. Guys, I'm on vacation this week. We just got back from Florida yesterday. I'm going to Chicago for a little bro trip this weekend. So we've got a couple days to thrift. We have to get all of our packages out from this past weekend. We have a ton to do, but we're going to take advantage of Frizz and I thrifting at the bins on a weekday. So let's go meet our girl and see what we can find. Frizz, you know you know what it you know what pays off? Like you know being borderline Canadian. Oh. <laughs> because not a lot of people in North Carolina are gonna know what Labatt Blue is. But CCM, guys, this is a throwback Labatt Blue hockey bag. Comps are as high as like $99. I love hockey. I really like Canada. Frizz, we're taking this home. So I found this pile of Hey Dudes that all, unfortunately, are just single pairs. But Hey Dudes, actually, we stopped picking them up. So I'm just curious, drop in the comments, are you guys still picking up Hey Dudes? And if you are, how are they selling for you? And the only reason that I ask is we were at, we were in Florida this past weekend for uh, a friend of ours baby shower and all the guys there were rocking Hey Dudes. I thought Hey Dudes ship had sailed, but they were all still rocking Hey Dudes. So curious what you guys are doing. Sad Panda on this one because I totally would have picked up this ping golf bag here at the bins. It probably would have charged me like three or four bucks, um, but it is just really kind of ratchet and I do not want to clean it up. But these um, little ping bags like this can do really, really well. I just, it's like I said, kind of nasty. But if you can find these in the bins or even out in the wild, the hooper backs, uh, they can do pretty well. How's it going? Uh, it's going really well. You're happy? Yeah? Nice. Here it is, guys, the behind the scenes. This is, this is what we look like going through the bins. When it's in between rotations, uh, like all the vintage kids are kind of sitting off to the side. It looks quiet. A lot of people just wait for new bins. We go through the old bins one by one, just scavengers looking for things. But that's it. We're out. And Chris, it's not what? Saturday. This is not Saturday because Johnny's on vacation this week from work. So we just got back from Florida, so we're now back at our bins. And you should have seen our Florida video if you're watching this. But if you haven't, go back and watch our Florida video. <laughs> Let me take this off. Cause... But of course, we got home yesterday. We had to add a suitcase. We have so much stuff at home. But, yeah, but we, you know, we... the flesh is weak. <laughs> All right, first up we have this Kate Spade. It's a size extra large, which is great. It's our full wrap dress. But I thought this was so pretty. And Kate Spade at the bins, okay. And then, you guys, I struggle with, I, I struggle with picking up Disney. But I did find this Disney Parks yeah, cool. sun hat with a little, right there, so cute. Who is that? I know, right? I don't know, I don't know. Um, Oh, so I found, I saw this. This was actually in the store. Nobody picked it up. It doesn't have a tag, but it feels nice. I used my spidey senses. Yep, they were tingling. And it is, where is it? On the other side, right? Oh, yeah. Very Lululemon. It's just like a button down shirt. Nice. Lulu at the bins, always a good idea. So I pick up, I don't pick up all Kate Spade, but at the bins, and this is like an like new condition Kate Spade bag. So like corners are really good, inside super clean. When you look at purses so. at the bins, like what, what are you looking for? Condition. Like you, yeah. 
condition. So the inside, the corners, yeah, those like everything looks like it looks like excellent condition. So if it's like a mid, if it's a mid-range brand, brand, like then that's I look at condition. But if it's like an extra, extra great bag, then well, purse, purse people are picky. They are. I did find this bag. This is like Glinda Guys. What is it? Glinda. Glinda Guys. Good. I would never pick it up. This brand before. She's known for her like tapestry kind of yeah. bags. Um, so yeah, got this. And finding the purses. Of course. Ooh. And then this is like super cute. This is a Dooney bag. Um, inside's a little, not too bad. There's some pin marks in it. But um, it does have the serial number. Yep, and you always want to look for that tag, right? Yeah. So yeah, I thought this was super cute. Nice tote bag. Nice. Okay, so suede is in this suede fall. In. So look for suede. These are all suede, I want to say, yeah, over the knee boots. And they are Stuart Wiseman, which I'm picky about Stuart Wiseman. But again, suede, so it has something going for it. And they are not healed, so that's a good thing too. And over the knee, so. What uh, keywords are you using on this? Um, I don't know, like. Equestrian? <laughs> Equestrian, <laughs> maybe, or like, I don't, I'm, keywords are like classic, city, um, I would Boots, say, preppy, tall. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fritz, I always feel like I'm like carrying a baby, you know, like those baby chestnuts. It's things. a YouTube baby. Baby. But, guys, corral boots are very, very snazzy. They're fancy. We've sold a lot of them. Yeah, so I thought, like, this super clean tote, why not? And I looked up sold pumps and they're like $35. For just a tote bag, nice. And this thing is two, three ounces. So yeah. It's literally going to cost a quarter. Yeah. So a quarter into $35, it's... Guys, okay, shout out again to Eli at Larkin Vintage. We love Eli, Larkin Vintage. He threw us this Greensboro Swan jersey that actually is game mute, or at least issued. So it's super cool to see the name on the back. Um, we'll post this up. That's pretty cool. Great. Remember the other day when I showed you the Carhartt shirt and you were like, no, but if it was fire resistant, yeah. maybe? Well, I didn't find the shirt, but I did find Carhartt fire resistant nice. pants. And if you want to know how they're fire resistant or to know, it literally just has the FR. FR. And that's not a Carhartt thing. Like any brand, a lot of brands will just have the FR. Fire resistant, it'll just say. FR. We got these. Nice. Grizz, we're all about our hats. We're in a hat mode right now. <laughs> um, we have been selling bundles over on District. Um, so this will go into a bundle that we'll create for that. You should be proud of me with this. <laughs> I need, I like to keep, well, Chris told me I always lose things. Yes, he so does. I need to keep all my stuff together. So I wanted like a little travel bag that I could put all our like GoPro <laughs> stuff in. So I grabbed this bag. I open it up. It's antique craft. Chris, we've sold it. Antique yeah, we have. Before. We have sold. It's sold at Anthropology. So all of my GoPro recording stuff will now be in a snazzy. You upgraded. You upgraded. <laughs> and then these. Those are really one, nice. And then I found another one like, I don't even know, ways away. But these are eco, like slide on loafers. But look at how clean they are. Yeah, they're in like excellent condition. And these are like brand new. They are a size 45, which I think is pretty big. Yeah, it says 11 to 11 and a half. So, but look at that nautical. Yeah, oh, those geez. are really nice. Right? Sharp. Mm -hmm. All right, so these ones are the blue dots, because if you can see, they have a blue dot in the middle. There's 127 listed. I'm doing a very generic search. That's just one club, one club, one club. There you go. Three to nine, which is what we have. 88 bucks plus shipping. And she's gonna charge us five. We will take that.
This is exciting because this is the very first thing I found today at the bins. This had been through the store because it has a little good little tag. How did you miss it? I don't know. Like I don't know what store it was at. Them. But I felt it and I was like, this is something. I thought it was Lululemon. I couldn't find the Lululemon. But I looked on the inside and it's Jack Archer, which nice. is a really great bolo brand for men. It sells super fast. These will probably sell for like $45. Um, but yeah, that's it's exciting. A great way to start off the bin, yeah, which is how we knew it was going to be a good day. Yeah, I was like, that's going to be good, and that was in an old bin from yesterday. Oh, people so, are slipping. Yeah, um, this is where is it? Um, a newer style Athleta. And you know it's newer style because the brand or yeah. the style. The right? style name is on the label there. A little Athleta dress, so cute. Mm. And then we love selling free fly that free fly does pretty well. Mm -hmm. we, I think we've sold this. It's like a waffle knit hoodie. So athleisure, um, Definitely nautical boating. bamboo because their free fly is known for their bamboo fabric. A lot of Lululemon. So we have the Lululemon men's and it's men's cause there's a, a M for medium shorts and Lululemon. I didn't even know you found all this. Paint, I know. Where is it? Because you know you got to. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Pocket. Ooh, lemon What's pants. That uh, I have to find it in the pocket. The rip tag is gone. Uh, oh, it's probably in this one. It is a size medium. Nice. But these were in the same bin together. So, so. the same person. Yeah, I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is a lot of new tag today new, so new, new. this is Fofa? what's the brand oh where is it, it? just said Fofa. Fofa. Oh. by Ugg. guys that's how i like my slippers but it's new tag so i was like this yeah. is really nice Absolutely. and then i it's not swimsuit season but i couldn't I mean, pass it, it up this is well yeah but I'm trying it's not to pick over. up summer, oh, you've moved but Miracle on, Suit, so. I have moved on, but I couldn't pass it up at the bins in Miracle Suit. Guys, we were so. just in Florida, and Frizz always complained that we never had a house with a pool. All this <laughs> pool, she needs to have a pool, was like really kind of even jerky about it. So what do no, I do? It was not. I go and was. I book an Airbnb with a pool. Guys, guess how many times Frizz went I in I got the my pool? feet in. Yeah. I got my what feet in. <laughs> But now I know because you just said it's not swimsuit season. It's August. It's <laughs> this is true. But where are you? Oh, this is an LLB that you're going to. Oh, comp, yeah. I need right? to comp this, but it's this so where, nice. It just is. so you guys know, this is where Frizz is head at 100% wool. That's where it's at. I know. I, I love fall and winter clothes, so I'm already at fall and winter. This is really nice. I think I might just get it. I do want to comp it, though, but this we'll is really out. nice. But yeah. Johnny coming in clutch yeah. found this new with tag Alexis. The, yeah. the tag came off, so I'll reattach that. But I had to rip it look away at from this the amazing way. blouse. I mean, that tag this is seemed familiar. It looked fancy. This is very fancy. You did a great job on this. I want to see if it's silk. And I only had it is a hundred percent silk. I only had to throw one elbow. But look at the, I mean, this is like great, fine, great, fine. How did I do? New with tag. How you did, did amazing. 100% A+. Plus. <laughs> so I found this in the last rotation. This is a vintage Sears, the leather shop, um, the men's shop. This is a leather biker jacket. I mean, this is amazing. It does definitely need some conditioner. It is has some spots on it, but I think it's totally worth it. And with a quick Google lens, it was like 100 to 250 dollars for this. So more details to come, but I'm getting this. Even though it's really heavy, it'll probably cost me eight dollars. <laughs> I don't care. I'm but getting it. I this is really cool. Will say that. All right, Chris. I need to look these up, but they're like in pretty good condition. But it's Fin Comfort. Oh yeah, those are really nice. Fin Comfort's a great brand. I mean, they feel great. We've sold, I don't know, clogs or something before. But we've done pretty well with them, so I'll look them up, but take yeah. a chance on them. Frizz, you know what time it is. It's soccer scarf time. You know these do well. I know you hate to admit it, but 
we should be able to get like 20 bucks for this and it nice. should sell pretty quick. Yeah, sucker scarves do sell. All right, I have to look these up still, but you know I love, actually, this may upset people. Bicyclists on the road, they drive me crazy. <laughs> they drive me crazy. I always am so anxious and so worried that like because I'm gonna hit somebody. It's, it's always like 25 of them all on the road. When we lived in Florida, <laughs> it was like every Sunday morning there was a group and there was like 30 of them and they would just go down our street. And I, but anyways, <laughs> I got on my soapbox. Their um, bicycle jackets or bicycle shirts can actually, some of these brands can do really, really well. It's like Pearl Azuma or something like that. Those can do really well. So I'm gonna look up these brands. This is uh, Pactamo, but we'll see. But they weigh like nothing, but they can go for like 30, 40 bucks. Nice. So I grabbed a bunch of them. And we're gonna oh, look, wow. we're gonna look them up. If they're the same size, maybe you can lot them together. Yeah. Frizz, because you're ready for winter and fall, this is an old tag. But on the interior tag, I looked at it, it says um, 22. 22. Was it 22? 22. So it's not too old. So Sherpa, yeah. little quarter, well, quarter zip, but quarter snap with pockets. Yeah, that's awesome. Frizz, I grabbed these just so you'd be proud. Good, yes. Spanx. We love Spanx. I sell, we love Spanx. I grabbed Spanx and then let Frizz decide whether or not we get it. <laughs> so we got that. Frizz, I think you told me that overalls, denim I mean, overalls tag, were like a thing. New a tag, I say yes. It's, they're American Eagle. And we don't normally pick up American Eagle, but 80 bones. Yeah, 80 new bones. Tag, American Eagle, yeah, I say go for it. But these need to get listed quick because Frizz has already moved on from summer. This is true. <laughs> they're fine. But we've noticed a trend coming up on YouTube that, I, I don't know, Frizz, I feel like we had to say something about it because there's YouTubers that have like huge followings, like hundreds of thousands of followers that are giving terrible advice and it could totally ruin your store. Yeah, it, it could really put true. you in jeopardy. You could get in trouble legally. Yeah. You could get in legal trouble. So like we're, jail. Yeah. So we're a, a very small channel. I'm just a baby. But we try to shoot you guys straight. We try to give you guys the facts. And so this is really important and we really want you guys to understand this because you might be watching videos where people are giving you kind of bad advice. Sketchy. And that, we deal a lot in clothing, and as you know, Frizz loves purses. And Frizz, what can purses be very easily? Fake. Faked. And there is a difference between fakes and dupes, and I think those words kind of get intermingled a yes. lot and crossed very, very easily. So we have a dupe. We have a fake. We want to show you, we want to clarify, just so you guys know, again, you can do whatever you want, sell whatever you want, wherever, but if you're selling fakes and counterfeits, you're running the risk of ruining your eBay store or Poshmark store or whatever you're selling down. on. They will shut it down. And if it's like a side hustle, you could lose your vacation money. Even on Facebook Marketplace, they'll still, you can get in trouble on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, and if it's your side hustle, like you can lose your vacation money. If you're like Frizz and that's like full time, you could lose your main source of income and you don't want that to happen. They're doing a rotation. All right, so sorry, there was a rotation. <laughs> um, but serious topic, back to a serious topic. Back to serious. Back to serious. Cereal. Guys, we promise not to be serious too often, but literally we've watched I don't know, a couple different YouTubers. Yeah. Like one with hundreds of thousands of followers, one like. like for I just would never risk it. So you do you, yep. but I would never risk it because it's illegal. But and, anyways. But no, like you could lose everything you built yeah. up. So yeah. just tread carefully. Please tread so. carefully with this. Yeah. So Frizz, what is a dupe? Okay, so a dupe is something that is a look-alike. So a look-alike of a designer piece. So, but it doesn't use the same name. But it doesn't name use the same logo. Or it doesn't have the logo. Um, name, yeah, like. The same name and logo, because that's what's illegal to yeah. use, is the copy of, copying of the logo and the name. So this is, looks like 
a Dooney and Burke. Yes. It looks exactly like a vintage Dooney. Yeah. But it's not trying to be a vintage Dooney because it has that little bow. Whatever. It's not a bird or a duck. Yeah. <laughs> it has that little bow. So it's not trying to use the name. Um, but it's a dupe. It's, it's a, a look-alike. It's a duplicate. That yeah. is fine. If you want to post this, that's fine. Just don't say it's a Dooney and Burke. <laughs> yeah. Or don't say like. Yeah. Like don't say like Dooney and Burke. Like these are just things that can get you in yeah. trouble. So you can sell dupes, but you can't just say this is a Dooney. Yeah. Because not. But we're not going to get it. No. I'm not getting that. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, so now we're talking fake. This is a fake. This and is a this, fake. Yes, that, people sell them, but it, you will get in trouble. It is you illegal, can. 100% illegal, and you can go to jail. It, which we're not saying that you will if you no. sell this, but you're really you're really risking your store. Yeah. I mean, it has the it, they're using the logo, and you can is. see like all this peeling and and brands do this to protect themselves. We're definitely not. And they use the name, which is not good. Yeah. And this is a terrible fake, anyways. But that's the difference. So dupes are okay, but fakes are legit illegal. <laughs> but we've heard people that are like, well, people buy fakes, so I sell people it. People do or... buy fakes. If people do buy fakes all the time on Alibaba. You can get it for yourself. If you don't want to pay the money for a designer bag, get it on Alibaba. It's a fake. That's fine. You do you, but you can't sell it. <laughs> yeah, don't sell it. But we saw like these you know, YouTubers saying like, oh, well, people buy them, so I sell them, or I make good money it's off just, fakes. I would tread carefully. I, I would... For me, I would you wouldn't either. No. But we would not do that. But guys, we hate to get serious with you. We didn't <laughs> we didn't mean to yell at you, but just like these are dupes, these are fakes. They are not the same. It is not interchangeable. But just do some homework because honestly, especially with things like purses and luxury items, mm -hmm. people are very protective. Yeah. And uh, the last rotation we just had to run away from you guys and come back. We found I found this Peter Millar Summer Comfort Polo, which surprisingly sell well on Depop. And then Johnny found some Judy Blues. Johnny found some Judy Blue, which is the boot cut, which is better than skinny, so that's good. And I will say that we've sold some Judy Blues lately, yep, so that's they do what sell. that's what made me think of it. Yep. But this guys, we like. For I, I don't know if you want to pull this off, but like. Our bin is full. Guys, we've got almost two well, we don't fish. full bin. Well, that's garbage. But almost <laughs> two, a bin and, and a half, half. One and a half. Which is insane for us. Yeah. We have a lot of work to do. We do. We so, have so much to list. But, but luckily, we have our challenge of a thousand items. And so we need the items. Get to work because, we need yes, the we items. We have a lot of items. But yeah. even more importantly than our challenge, we're hungry. We're hungry. We're going to get some hot dogs. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much for making it through the end of another video. Remember, protect yourself. Dupes and fakes, they're different. Don't sell those fakes. And guys, we're almost at 3,000 subscribers.